Today I'm going to begin with the Hydrolux water cream. I just want a really nice hit of hydration to the base. That has given my skin just an instant boost of hydration. It feels so much better. Now I'm going to go in with the Youngblood Eye Impact Cream and just pop it underneath my eyes. I really like to take the time to just massage that in around my eyes. And I also like to put the residue just over on my lips as well. Today I'm after a really natural sort of glowing look, so I'm going to use the Home Beauty Primer. So that is literally just the primer and I've just used my fingers to really massage that in. It is beautiful, it just gives you that nice glow. What I may go in with just a hint of, um, say, concealer to lighten up some areas, a little bit of contour, and then powder it off. But I think I'm gonna keep this as my base today, so something just really natural. First off, I'm going to use the Contour One by Imco Beauty, and I'm gonna contour my face. Just going in with a foundation brush and I'm just pressing that into the skin because I, I've really placed it exactly where I would like it. I don't want to have um, too much contour. I'm really warming up the face, framing it a little bit and just pressing that into where I've placed it. It's nice and high because I really want to create that bit of lift or the illusion of lift in my face. So just pressing that in. Same with down the nose. Again, I will go in with powder products later and just make that a little more prominent and then I've just done a little bit around the jowls so and then just sweeping the residual along that jawline so just patting it in and then up along that jawline continuing with the Imco beauty products this is their highlighter wand so I'm just going to place a little bit of um, highlighter where I really want the face to sort of stand out So now once I've placed it, I'm taking quite a small fine brush and I'm just going to really blend that in to the skin. Use your fingers as well. Same up here, just blending that through. I'll come in with the larger brush and really diffuse that off, but nice to use a very small brush to start off with and just really blend that out. And this just helps get rid of, this is where I have a little bit of redness and just sort of make that look like I've got a little bit more coverage, but not disturbing that nice primer base. Grabbing the foundation brush again, I'm just going to push this up in here, and this just helps, this little line here just helps really to snatch the side of the face in a little bit again, creating that lift that we so desire. And I'll just really diffuse that, and same with the middle down the nose as well. Now I'm just coming in with the medium rice setting powder and I'm just going to set the areas that have placed that highlighter concealer and just really get rid of some of that dewiness that is on the face. I like a little bit of glow but I don't, I don't like to be too shiny. So just using a detailed brush here to just sweep underneath the eyes, a little bit down here, I'll go down the nose those areas that we put that highlighter so my nose is a little bit I've got that little, little dot there broken capillary we'll get rid of that and then just down here as well get rid of some of that dewiness on the top lip I'll just take a slightly larger brush and just do sweep that up as well um, grabbing a little bit more and we'll do the cheeks later. I might just dull them down a little. They're quite rosy. Before I head into the eye makeup, I'm just going to comb up these brows. So sweep them through, up and out. 
and then I will add some of the Rumi Cosmetics. This one, this is the Brow Power. I'm really loving this. It's just so easy to use. It's got a very small applicator and I always start on my outer edge first because I feel like that's where I'm losing the color the most. Um, I just fill in that arch and sort of elongate the tail. And then I just put a small amount through the middle. That makes sense. And then I will sweep it back through the clean spoolie brush. So just really a hint of color. I like to keep them as natural as possible. In order to prep the eyes, I'm using the MAC Paint Pot. This is called, um, the shade's called Painterly. And this is just one of my favorite ways to really begin an eye makeup, especially if I want it to last all day. I do have a wedding to do today, so I've got some makeup. So I do want my makeup to be on and to stay for the whole day. So I'm just placing that on the eyelid there, all the way from the bottom of the lash right up to the top. Of underneath the brow. So excited to have a play with these. These are the eyewear from Victoria Beckham. I've got two shades. I brought the Pecan and I also bought Shroom. So my plan is to use both. I've never tried them before so let's see how we go. I'm going to take Pecan first and I'm going to place it really close to this lash line. Great, it's just like using a pencil. And then I'm going to go up into that eye crease, just inside there. Really like I'm contouring the eye. And then I will take it underneath the eye as well. So it looks a little bit strange, but bear with me. I'm going to blend that out. Then you just need to take a little fluffy brush and just blend that out. So I'm starting with that bottom lash line there and just diffusing that. Same on the top. Now these pigments are so good. I tried yesterday when it first arrived. I just placed it on my hand and honestly it did not budge. So that's the great thing. Um, once you've blended it out it's actually going to not go anywhere. So the key is to blend straight away so that it doesn't stay put. Already you can see that it's just sitting exactly where I put it. So I'm just blending that out. Do you really quite like that? So I got a little bit carried away on that side, so I'm just gonna add a small amount in that corner there and then just blend that through as well just to make it even but they're really easy to use so but in saying that they dry fast so you do need to work fast see how on this side I worked I wasn't chatting so I worked a lot faster just blending that through so my plan is to use shroom which is like a mushroom shade but with a bit of shimmer I'm going to put it on the ball of the eye. So it is going to make it a little bit more intense, but it is lighter. So I think it's a really nice shade all over that mobile lid. And once again, I might even go in here to connect that through there. Actually, that's quite nice. Same thing, grab that little brush again and just blend it out and through. This just makes it really seamless um, and it just looks so nice. Okay, so I was planning to use the Kajal eyeliner in cinnamon just to keep it all sort of subtle but that is in my makeup purse in my room. So here I have the one in Coco. So this will be a little bit more dramatic, but it'll have to frame those eyes. So what I'm gonna do is just run this along the lash line, but really close, like I always do. I like it 
really, really close to the lashes, almost in the lashes, because it's just, I don't want it to take over from the eye. And it's a definitely a really nice shade. I always let my eyes open when I do the little flick at the corner. I just use my finger, it's gone the wrong way, to sort of peek that up a little bit. Then you can stretch it ever so slightly, not too much and just fill in that little corner there. This gives you that tiny little baby wing. And then I will connect the bottom as well, just a small amount. And I'm really doing this really lightly, like just gentle touches. And I know this is gonna look weird, but up in there. So that's the tight line. So that just really makes it look like that. I would also go in here again I'm hardly touching it just to finish it the look off Okay, so on that side you can see that I did a tiny little like whoops don't stress on the other side there's like a little um, smudgy sort of brush just smudge that in like just push it into that lash line and don't get too caught up in the perfection of it all you know it will sort of work itself out same with the other side just make sure you smudge that off just a little bit so nice and diffused look I have just realized why Victoria gives you a pencil sharpener with your pencil because I did sharpen it with another one and it has destroyed the tip anyway. Good lesson learned. To finish the eyes off, I'm going to use the, this is the Rumi Cosmetics. This is their mascara. It's really nice. Separates the lashes really well and um, coats them really well. I find I will blink down onto the lashes and give it a bit of a shimmy and then also go in like this and really piece those lashes out possibly more off camera otherwise I'll be too close and tapping just the roots of the bottom lashes such a hard decision when it came to um, blush because I was given quite a few different shades which I've swatched here I'm thinking of using this one here or this one here. So one of these two for my cheeks today. So the brush that I've chosen is called Berry Kiss by Rumi Cosmetics. That is the shade. Now the best way with cream blushes is to pop them on your hand. So you can just see how pigmented they are. But this way you're not gonna get that all over your face and too much. And then I would place... Here I missed the first demonstration. So what I'm doing is placing two fingers just there to give you a really good guide to where to place that blush. So nice and high up on the cheekbone, really high to create that lift. And then I'm dotting a little bit over the nose as well, and just a little bit more on the other side. So I'm going to use the O Natural Lip Liner. This is by Youngblood. Now, when I do my lips, I really like to just almost go straight across to this Cupid's bow and then bring it down. And that way just makes them look a little bit fuller. So I'm going to take that same cheek. Now for a little bit of highlighter, I'm going to try the um, Rumi Cosmetics. This is called Cinnamon. And um, look at that for a little bit of highlight bronzer. So I'm gonna use this little brush and I'm taking it straight from here. I thought I might just pop it onto the high points there, create that little bit of shimmer, might build that up a bit more. Yeah, I really like that. It's just, you know, a little bit of shine. So two more products to go just to really finish this off and settle it in. I do like to put a little bit of um, like powder bronzer over the top of the, the contour I did earlier. This one is the City Bronzer by Maybelline. So it's just quite a nice shade. It's, it's not too orangey. It's got more of a um, cooler tone to it. And I just 
one that sort of sculpts the face. The very last product I'm going to use, I swear I'm going to finish this makeup, is the High Definition Translucent. Now this just gives you that beautiful airbrush look, just brings it all together nice and seamless. Um, mine, I've stupidly taken the uh, sticker off, so it's going to go everywhere. So I will place that on with a de more detailed brush under the eyes and then a larger brush for everywhere else. Just by doing that, it just really makes it all sort of come together, makes your skin look like skin. And um, that's the final look. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think.